Well, what's up guys? Today I wanna to talk about Southwest Airlines and why I believe this is the very best United States airline. From free checked bags to no late or cancellation fees to the experience you have on the flight to them having the Southwest Companion Pass, which is arguably the greatest travel perk or hack or whatever you wanna call it in the entire travel ecosystem. I believe every single person should know about Southwest and I'm convinced that every person needs a Southwest credit card. So today I wanna to tell you why I think these things and which card is right for you and why the card that I'm picking is actually gonna put more money back in your wallet. But before we go there, hey listen, my name's Ed, welcome to the channel. And if you like traveling for free, getting cash back, maximizing your credit card points and budgeting well, this channel is for you. But before we go any further, hit the like button below, subscribe. Listen, hitting this like button is the very best way that you can support the channel. It will help make sure that this video is inside the YouTube algorithm and make sure that it gets to more people who are looking for this content. So go ahead, hit that like button and let's get started. All right, so why do I love Southwest Airlines? Well, I already kind of said it in the introduction, but a few years ago, my wife and I really discovered this was the best airline for us. We were frequently traveling between Pittsburgh and Tampa, Florida, and so there were some nonstop flights, but Southwest flies all over the country like most airlines, but they bring a ton of other perks to the equation. Some of those perks are one that you don't have to pay for checked bags where almost every other airline is charging you checked bag fees, Southwest is not. Now yeah, the interior cabins might not be as nice as like a United or a Delta, but we've never personally had any issues with the, the interior cabins and their updated cabins, their newer planes are amazing. So on top of that, mixed with the no bag fees, you also get the Southwest experience, which frankly, I think some of their flight attendants are some of the best in the air today and so those are just an incredible experience for just your interaction with them but on top of that we really love the first come first serve, first come first serve seating now some people don't like that obviously it requires 24 hours in advance for you to check in on time for your flight but we prefer that we like it I, yeah, it's, it's fine whenever you have to get your own seat, you can guarantee what seat you're gonna do on some other airlines. But for us, I do believe it speeds up getting on and getting off the aircraft. And for me, I like being able to get on early, check in early, get on early, and find my preferred seat. Usually, that's an aisle that has a little bit extra room, so for us, that might be like an emergency aisle or something like that but I like that, that's what I prefer. You do get free in-flight entertainment, you get free texting as well, and all of this combined just makes Southwest our preferred airline. So if you have not flown Southwest, I would highly encourage you to do so. They are adding routes all the time, but also the thing around Southwest is your ability to pursue the Southwest Companion Pass. Now this video is not all about the Southwest Companion Pass, but before I get into credit cards, I feel like I have to tell you about what it is. This is directly from their website. It says the Companion Pass is the benefit that allows you to choose one person to fly with you free of airline charges. It does not include, that does not include tax and fees from 560 one way. Every time you purchase or redeem points for a flight. Basically, this is a buy one, get one ticket for you and a companion of your choosing. And the best part about this is when you qualify or earn the Southwest Companion Pass, you get it for the remainder of the calendar year that you earn it and the entire next calendar year. So the earlier in a calendar year that you earn it, the more time you actually have the Companion Pass available to you at your disposal. Uh, and now, how do you actually qualify for it? Well, it's not easy. You have to have 100 qualifying one-way flights. You can find this information right on southwest.com or you need 125 qualifying points earned in a calendar year. Now, okay, I know that is a lot. 100 one-way flights, that's 50 round trips. You have to be flying a ton to earn the companion pass through that route. But 125,000 points, even though that's a lot, I want you to know that is attainable for someone like me and someone like you. And one of the best ways to earn qualifying points, that's the key word qualifying, is through Southwest credit cards. Now, what is a qualifying point? Again, right from southwest.com, it is points earned from booking flights. 
It is points earned from Southwest credit cards that can be through sign-up bonuses, uh, referrals, or multipliers from your normal spend. Points earned from Rapid Reward Partners through their online shopping portal. What is not a qualifying uh, point is purchase points, transferred points, uh, that, that'd be like from my wife to my account, um, converted points from another program. So this would be if I had some Chase points in my Chase portal and I want to transfer them Southwest one-to-one, -one, those would not qualify as points towards a companion, point, companion pass. And a few other ways that are more rare, e-rewards, flight bonus points, a few other things. But the primary thing you need to know, the two best ways, in my opinion, that you can earn Southwest Companion points that will qualify towards Companion Pass are points earned when you pay for actual bookings on Southwest.com and points earned through the Southwest credit card through sign-up bonuses uh, and referrals and uh, purchases. That was kind of the, the first point. But that means you need a Southwest credit card. And so that brings us to the topic of this whole video is why you personally need a Southwest credit card. And it is so you can maximize points, Southwest points that are coming back to you to help you get free flights through Southwest Airlines and maybe qualify for the Southwest Companion Pass. Now, regardless if you are a major player in the credit card hacking travel game or you're just a casual flyer i truly believe that the southwest credit cards are so good that they are helpful for anyone and so we're going to look right at the southwest website they have three main primary consumer cards you can see this uh, comparison right here they have the plus the premier and the priority they also have two business cards the premier and the performance i'm not going to spend a lot of time on the business cards that would stay until the end of the video and i'll give you my bonus tip for which of the business cards is actually uh, the better one to own. But I wanna spend the majority of our time looking at the three main consumer cards. So I'm just gonna have the graphic here on the screen with us. Right off the top, I wanna to look at the annual fees. You got the Plus at $69, the Premier at $99, and the Priority at $149. Now we're gonna talk about the way that the perks associated with these cards help to offset these annual fees. Uh, but before we get there, look right at the top, our sign-up bonus. This is huge. What is a sign-up bonus made available to you by just signing up for the credit card and meeting the minimum spend? At this time, the sign-up bonus for all three of these consumer cards is the exact same. It is 40,000 points. Now, guys, I'm going to be honest with you. This is one of the lower times I've ever seen the Southwest bonus be this low. Uh, I've seen it frequently live in around the 65,000 point range. Uh, I've even seen it go up to as high as 80,000 points, but they add some additional requirements for the necessary spend. But right now, 40,000 points for only $1,000 in spend in the first three months. I mean, the, the value's fine. The value's fine here. I wish it were more. And so if you have the ability to wait on this, yeah, maybe wait until it gets up to the 65,000 point range again. Uh, but if you are interested in signing up right now, I also want to encourage you to use my referral link in the description below. It's a great way to help out the channel. It gets me points, gets you points. It's good for everyone. But the big question that I'm sure you're wondering at this point is, okay, well, yeah, I'm interested in getting free flights. I'm interested in potentially getting Southwest uh, points on my account. I'm open to a credit card. That's why I'm watching the video. But how much are Southwest points actually worth? Now, our, our friend, the points guy, uh, he has a whole chart on his website that you can always go to to see what is his evaluation. And he says that the Southwest points are roughly worth 1.5 cents per point. Now, to me, that might be just a, a tad high. Uh, there was a point over the pandemic and over the last year that Southwest was allowing you to transfer uh, travel funds. These would be money that you got back for you know, any, any sort of reason that were on your account associated with your name and a previous ticket that you had. If you had travel, travel funds on your account, you could convert them to points for free on Southwest. The benefit to doing this is that points don't expire on your account, but uh, travel funds, uh, I think, can. So they were encouraging you to uh, transfer out these transfer points. And Southwest themselves was evaluating, and evaluating their points at 1.3 cents per point. So you got the points guy saying 1.5, you got Southwest themselves saying 1.3. I'll tell you from my experience, and I'll give you an example. I typically find that the points are valued around 1.4 cents per point. 
And so if that means you're getting 40,000 points with a sign-up bonus, that means that is the equivalent of $560 in value that you're getting back by opening this card and putting $1,000 in spend on that card in the first three months. So that's, that's nothing to sneeze at. I mean, I know it's on the lower end of a Southwest card, but this is still $560 worth of value. I'll give you an example. I looked up a flight from Pittsburgh to Tampa. This is a route we travel all the time. I just looked for a Saturday to Saturday flight in September. So I'm filming this in uh, mid-August. Two non-stop flights for two passengers pit to Tampa. This worked out to 35,388 points plus $22.40 in fees. And so this bonus would allow my wife and I to basically take this round trip flight to Tampa for free. And so if you're trying to go to Florida for a trip, this is a great way to get that done. Now that same flight, if you actually looked at it for points, was $515.92. And so if we just do the math, and I'll put, the, put all the math on the screen here, if you take the, what this would cost in actual dollar amounts and subtract the amount I'm gonna be paying for fees by, by using the points anyways, you come out to $493.52. If you use a very simple equation to figure out the cost per point and, and the valuation here, this comes out to a flight evaluation of 1.39 cents per point. That's the value I'm getting from using my points on this flight. So like I said, my typical experience is to get about 1.4 cents per point of value. So again, 40,000 points typically works out to about $560 of value. All right, so beyond the sign up bonus, what are we looking at now? What are the perks of these cards? They're gonna help us offset this annual fee and which is the card that is actually gonna put money in my pocket. So if we take a look at this, the plus gets 3,000 points, anniversary points. So every year you keep this card on your anniversary date of owning the card, these points will be automatically deposited into your Southwest account. So you get 3,000 points for the plus, 6,000 points for the premier, 7,500 points for the priority. If we use our 1.4 cents per point evaluation, this comes out to respectively $42, $84, and $105 of value that you're getting every single year of owning the card. And here's why this is so important, because this brings the effective annual fee of these cards, it brings the plus down to an effective annual fee of $27, the premier down to $15, and the priority down to $44. And so right off the bat, just by keeping this card and getting the anniversary points, the cost to own this card comes so low just because of anniversary points you're gonna get. I know I'm gonna be flying Southwest almost every single year, so getting these anniversary points are great. And if I let them accumulate a few years over, that's gonna be enough to actually do something with. And so already, just these anniversary points are gonna help us offset the annual fee. The point earnings for these cards are all the same. They have a special going on right now that if you sign up for the card in the first 12 months, you get 3X back on dining and restaurants. That includes takeout. So that's a great perk for the first 12 months. But primarily, primarily you're looking at two points per dollar on Southwest purchases and Rapid Rewards partners and one point per dollar on everything else. On the two higher cards, Premier and Priority, you got no foreign transaction fees, that's nice. And you get tier qualifying points towards A-list status. Uh, A-list just gives you priority boarding, flyby priority check-in, and uh, some special secure lane access when available. To be honest, A-list is great, but I mean, I don't know doesn't do a lot for me personally. It takes 35,000 points in the calendar year to get there. So if you have one of the two higher cards, it's gonna help you earn that faster as well. But now I wanna look at, because th that's basically where these cards start having similarities. Now we get to a point where the priority card, the highest card, the $149 annual fee card, begins to separate itself. And if you remember, based on what we just said, with the anniversary points that you're getting at the $7,500 7, anniversary points that effectively will bring your annual fee down to $44, right? Now we get to see the other ways that this card is going to give you value. And the very first thing it does, it gives you $75 annual Southwest travel credit. Now, how can you use this credit? Now, that southwest.com is very, very specific. If you read the terms and conditions, it says a statement credit will automatically be applied to your account when a Southwest Airlines Rapid Rewards Priority Card is used 
for Southwest Airlines purchases, excluding upgraded bookings and in-flight purchases. So you might say, well, okay, if, if it excludes in-flight purchases and it excludes upgraded bookings, what the heck can I use it for? I got $75 Southwest credit, what, what can I use it for? And there are a few things that I believe you can use this for. Uh, there are some data points online of people saying that this will get triggered for some fees. Now, Southwest doesn't have a lot of fees, but if you get a $5 fee, maybe on a, on a tax on a, a random ticket or something, there are people online saying that this credit can help to cover that. You also have some other people online saying that you can use this for electronic gift cards. Now, I personally don't recommend this. This is known as manufactured spend in the credit card industry. Uh, credit card issuers do not like this. And so as a credit card holder, I don't want to do something that they don't like because they could shut my account down. They could do a whole lot of things to me that I, I don't want to happen. So there are people online saying you can use this towards electronic gift card, but I do not recommend it. The number one way that you can use the Southwest $75 credit is for early bird check-in. This is my own opinion. I recently just did this. My wife and I use this. We have a flight coming up and we uh, got her early bird check-in for both directions. It was $20 each way, so $40. So immediately $40 was credited back into the account. It was triggered and we got that money back. And so the best way, in my opinion, you can use this $75 is to upgrade your ticket to include early bird check-in. That means you don't have to scramble to check in 24 hours in advance. You get one of the first 15 people to board the plane. You get to pick your own seat. This is a great use case for this $75. And if you can use this, sometimes it can cost as low as $15 for the early bird, usually around 20. You're using this credit four or five times a year, possibly, to your favor. And so before you had an effective annual fee of $44, here you're about to get $75 back in value and you're looking already at like $31 back in your pocket from just owning this card. Now, okay, you might say, well, I wouldn't have gotten the early bird check-in if I didn't have this card. So it's basically forcing you to, in, in essence, spend money you do not have. I get that argument, but if you're flying Southwest a lot, having the ability to get this perk is a really, really nice thing, especially because there is not really an easy way to get, uh, get on earlier besides making sure you get on, the, get on the website 24 hours in advance and even then you're relying on your internet and being first and all these things. This is the easiest way to make sure you are the first person on the plane. $75 credit. In addition to that, the priority gives you four upgrading bookings when available that's key when available and i have to tell you this is a nice perk it's not great and i'll tell you why these upgraded bookings <clears throat> are technically to their business select class but you only really get these and you you can only really ask for these and use these upgraded bookings on the day of travel here's how southwest puts it it says upgraded boardings may be purchased at the departure gate or ticket counter on the day of travel only when available now my wife and I have had multiple cases where we did get to use these on the day of travel. We went to the ticket and we said, hey, are there any upgrades available? They said, yes, we used our card and we got those upgrades for free. So this, it's true, this is a great perk. It's nice to have in your back pocket. The downside is you have to do it on the day of travel. And there have been many more times where I go and ask if there's any upgrades available and they're not available because people pre-buy them. So it's nice to have, just doesn't always work in your favor. And the last perk that the priority card has is 20% back on in-flight drinks and Wi-Fi. And guys, honestly, this can add up. We don't buy a lot of in-flight drinks, but we usually always buy Wi-Fi for at least one device for me and one device uh, for my wife and one device for each of our kids. So our kids love using their iPads on the flights and to keep them busy, yeah, we're paying for it. That's eight bucks for each kid, that's $16. For, for me and my wife, if we each get it, that's eight bucks for each of us. And so right off the bat, you're looking at $32 one way that we're spending on Wi-Fi potentially. So to get 20% back, that is tremendous, tremendous value. Uh, you know, you're arguably looking, 
I don't know what that is, 20% of 32, <laughs> you're getting that back. And so for every flight that you take one way with however many people are in your party, that's gonna begin to add up and you're gonna get a lot of value back. Just as an example, for two people round trip, you're looking at basically $6.40 back in your pocket. So a few trips a year, you're buying Wi-Fi for, for one of your device for you and a companion, maybe some kids, 20% back is gonna be a super helpful money back in your pocket. And that is money that I would be spending otherwise. So it's nice to get that back. All that added up, what is the right card for you? Well, listen, I don't know if you've been tracking with this, but it doesn't matter if you are the most common Southwest traveler or you're just a guy that flies Southwest one time a year, one time a year. I believe that the Southwest Priority Consumer Card is a card for every single person to own. Because even if you only fly one round trip time on Southwest per year, you're gonna still get those anniversary points. You're gonna be able to book early bird check-in on the flight that you're having using your $75 credit. And right away, you're gonna be bringing your effective annual fee down to about $4. If you buy Wi-Fi there and back, you just covered the cost of your annual fee. And so I think it's a no-brainer to get the priority card. More than that, the 40,000 bonus points and the points you put on this card, it's points that you're earning that's gonna get you closer and closer and closer to the Southwest Companion Pass. Guys, I believe every single person needs a Southwest credit card. And if you want one right now, you can use my referral link in, in the description below. But if you wanna wait to maybe see does a, a higher, uh, higher sign-up bonus come along, that's cool too. Come back to this video, use the referral link or whatever you gotta to do to get the points. But it is a great perk to have, if you, even if you were just the most casual Southwest flyer. Now, before I let you go, listen, bonus tip. If you have a small business and you are looking for a bonus card, there's two business Southwest cards made available to you, They're both also from Chase. And I'm not gonna spend a lot of time on this, Easily, easily, my recommendation is to get the performance card. Okay, this is the higher end card. It's a $199 annual fee, but it comes with 9,000 anniversary points. That works out to $126 in value at the 1.4 uh, cents per point evaluation. You get 3X back on Southwest purchases. You get those four upgraded bookings when available. You get a global entry or TSA credit uh, through this card. But more than all of that, you get 365 Wi-Fi credits per year. And so for our use case, I just told you this example, if my wife gets Wi-Fi, I get Wi-Fi, each of my kids get Wi-Fi. Now, because we have it, my wife and I will not only put it on our phones, but we'll also get it on each of our iPads. So every flight we take, we have six devices that are getting Wi-Fi. That's $48 in Wi-Fi. Round trip, that's $96 in Wi-Fi all completely free. And so we, the performance credit card, business card, we get value out of this card like crazy. And so if you have a business account, make sure that this is in your wallet. You want this card. It is a tremendous card to have available to you. And listen, if you want, if you have a small business, apply for the business card and the priority card. You already know you're going to be able to get the value out of the priority card, we just went over this in the consumer priority card. But the thing I'm not, I haven't even mentioned yet is that this bonus card, the performance card, has an 80,000 point sign up bonus. Meaning if you got both of these cards in a calendar year, that's 120,000 points that you're going to get. And with the minimum spend, you gotta do 5,000 on the business card and 1,000 on the consumer card. Just from getting those cards and meeting the minimum spend in the first three months, you can instantly earn the companion pass for you and a companion. And so that's your tip of the day. If you got a small business or even if you're looking to start a business, try and apply for a business card. You can just be honest on the thing, put that you have zero dollars in revenue and see what happens. Use your personal social security number as uh, in the EIN field, kind of as a sole proprietor and just see what happens because it, it now, actually work towards starting a small business and that can be a million different things and you can find videos on like that on, on what to do there. But the Southwest Companion Pass might be right at your fingertips if you get a consumer card and the business card. So that's your tip of the day. Do you need a Southwest credit card? Yes, I believe you do. So use my link below, sign up, 
and happy travels. I'll see you next time.